let us now start with creating our products we have already exported this close and from here i am just going to open product controller.js and inside this we are just going to import our model import product from i will come inside this models folder inside this we are having product model and then we have to give dot js and here we have created one simple function get all products but above this we are going to write this creating products only after we create the product we can get all the products and here i will write one below this i will write export const i will give the function name as create products and for this function i am going to make as asynchronous function so here i will write async and inside this we are just going to pass this request and then we will be passing response and this request object is nothing but it is going to contain the data which is sent from the client so we are the client whatever data we are sending like form data in the body that data will be present inside this request and using this response object we can get the response back from the server i will just open this arrow function so this is called as handler function and for this i have made as async function now inside this i have to wait for the request and from this product model i will be accessing this create method why i am able to access because this is the model we have created now this model will be providing methods for the model collection such as create find find by id so this create method we will access to create the product and inside this whatever data user is entering we have to access that and that we can access using request dot body but before this here let me just lock i will write request dot body now here using this function we are creating the product so i will open product routes dot js and inside this i want the same route now instead of get we will be using post request and then here i will be passing create all products then i will be passing this function name as soon as i hit enter create products will be imported from this file okay in this way we can easily chain and whenever i am requesting i have to use post request and inside app.js we have already given the route for our product now let me show you what happens simply i have given request dot body i will open postman click on plus copy this entire url and here i will be pasting now instead of get i have to use post now here we are having multiple options i will click on body and from here i will select this row and inside this drop down you have to select json here i will be writing object and in json format i will be passing the data here i will write name colon and then i will be writing product 1 now this entire data whatever i am having inside the body that i am trying to access using this request object i will just click on send my request is sending i will come here open terminal i am having the result undefined whatever data i am having inside the body i am not able to access that data so what we have to do we have to use middleware i will come here i will open app.js let me close this and here below this i will write one comment i will be using middleware and to get that json data we will use app.use and inside this we will use this express.json and this express.json is built in middleware and whenever we are using middleware 
we will be using app.use and what this function will be doing it is just going to pass incoming request with json payload now i will come here click on send come back open terminal now you can see successfully i am able to get the data which is present in my body so it is very important you pass the middle way if you do not pass you will not be able to get the data which we have passed inside this body so this function is going to pass incoming json payload so that is the reason we are able to get this result now i am going to close i will come here and i am just going to cancel this request from here i will remove this lock i will uncomment this now whatever data i put inside the body using that body i am just going to create products collection and this entire value i will assign to product once the collection is created using this response object i just want to send the response first i will be sending the status if everything is okay i will be sending 201 201 because we are creating the resource if everything is created successfully we will give the status code as 201 then next i will be writing this json method i will pass object i will write here success and for this i will assign the value true and also as a response i just want to send this complete created product okay this is how we are going to create our function and inside this route we have already given the route i will come here after this api v1 we are giving product and here we have changed post now what we will do side by side we are just going to open our product model and also we are going to open this postman and inside this product model we have given the name name let me just give as product 1 separate by comma then we are having description i will copy this description and here i will be pasting for this i will give the description as product description product description 1 again separate by comma then we are having price i will write price price type is number so here i will be writing 200 let me just give 100 for first product then next we are having ratings by default i have given the value 0 so i will not be specifying rating here then next we are having this image i will write here image and for this image we have to give this object so here i will specify the object inside this first property is public id here i will write public id as of now we will not be having any id i will write this is test id then separate by comma here i will be writing url and here also i will be writing the same thing this is test url 1 then next we are having category separate by comma here i will be writing category category i am just going to give shirt separate by comma come down we are having stock and by default i have already given the value i will not include here number of reviews i have given the default value i will not be including and this reviews also i will not be giving here if i do not give then simply it will be creating empty array because this is having array structure then created at also i will not be giving because for this we have assigned default value i will remove this last comma and from here i will be removing the spaces now i will open this product controller and i am just going to increase this size so inside this body i have passed all this data once i have passed the data i will click on send now you can see i have got the response success is true and inside this product i am having all this data 
whatever values by default i have not given those values are already taken from my model you can see reviews is empty array and here when this product is created and for this i have inserted this data so here also i will be having different id and for this product also i will be having different unique id successfully we are able to get the response and this response is nothing but whatever we have sent inside this json success is through and for this product entire object is assigned previously we have created the product model now we have just inserted or basically we have created product now i will open this mongodb i will click on this i am just going to refresh the databases now you can see my database will be present if i open my products collection will be present and here while creating the model i have given product but inside this mongodb my collection name will be products i will click on this and here you can see whatever data we have added inside the postman entire data will be present here so this is our collection and inside that we have passed our first document i will open postman and this i will click on save and here i will change i will write create new product very important to structure this and i am saving inside this product click on save now i will be having the name i will open now you can see when i click on get products after writing the code as soon as i click whatever collections i am having inside the database i will be able to get and when i click on this already entire data will be present inside the body i only have to change something and that data will be stored inside the database